welcome back so and uh, so let us go ahead and look at the exact code uh, for the lcd uh, for the keypad and for the lcd as well so uh, if you've gone through the lcd tutorial uh, we you should be knowing that we use a lcd 4 bit uh, dot c this file has all the functions with which enable us to display characters and numbers on the lcd and this is a header file for the same file which contains all the prototypes similarly uh, the code that we'll be discussing today uh, will be in keypad.c and all the function prototypes will be on keypad.h so let us start uh, here so uh, the the first function is keypad init so what it basically does is it makes uh, you know the uh, as as you discussed so it makes all the rows as inputs and all the columns as outputs so this is the only thing that it does in this particular case now the function wait for key release it ensures that no key is pressed so before we go ahead and scan for any of the key press it, it if we call this function to ensure that uh, you know no key is pressed so the next is uh, it waits for key press so this is starting with the scan algorithm so uh, whenever a key is pressed um, this that is detected first by this function now then we have a key scan function keypad key scan key so what it does is it uh, does our uh, row scan algorithm and then it gives back a key and then we give that key to the uh, lookup table and then the lookup table gives the ask key value that is displayed on the uh, you know lcd so if you look at the main code uh, it looks uh, pretty uh, familiar so lcd.h it is for the lcd in 4 bit mode and in this case we have connected the lcd to port 0 so you could observe that uh, you know in the lcd file it is defined as port 0 right so uh, this is the uh, lcd and then the keypad so uh, we have included the keypad code which we will be seeing right now so in the main code what we have is we initialize the lcd and then we initialize the keypad and then what we do is we go to line 1 on lcd and then display key press and then we go to line 2 and all the while what we do is we uh, get a key from the keypad and we give that key so this is basically a number and if we give that number to the lcd data write function it displays basically it returns ascii value so uh, that ascii value if we want to uh, display it on lcd we use the lcd data write function so all the while what it does is it just scans the key and sends it on lcd line 2 now let us go ahead and look at the all the four or five functions that we have set now what you could observe here is uh, the row and the columns uh, both are connected to port 1 so as discussed in the schematic both are on port 1 uh, so we define row also as port 1 and column also as port 1 now what that does is wherever we have row or column it replaces them with port 1 uh, and the first function is uh, to initialize the keypad and what it does is it just sets the direction for the keypad lines so sending f0 the higher nibble is f it means uh, you know the higher nibble we have uh, the rows on higher nibble and it makes rows as output and zero on lower nibble so it makes columns as input so this is the keypad init function so it just sets the direction now the next function is uh, before we see the weight for release let's just go ahead and see wait for key press now what we do here is uh, we send f0 on the column lines so basically uh, column and row both are same so we send f0 on port 1 in this case so so what it does is it makes all the columns uh, in fact all the rows as 1 and all the columns as 0 so uh, now what we do is now we and the row or basically again the port 1 with f0 now if a key is pressed right so if a key is pressed it would not be f0 it would be something else so uh, so we do this while the key is pressed so uh, while it is f0 it means no key has been pressed 
so if it has changed so if it has changed if it is something other than f0 it is e0 or you know uh, 70 or uh, anything then the key has been pressed and then we get out of this loop then what we do is we wait for a millisecond to ensure that it was not a spike or you know for the key to settle down so you should have heard about the debouncing so uh, to uh, compensate for that we wait for a millisecond and again we do the same thing so we send f0 on the port 1 and then we end it with f0 to ensure that uh, you know if a key is pressed it would not be f0 so we will wait again with this two while loop uh, till it is f0 if it is not f0 it means a key has been pressed so and now what once the key has been pressed we you know call a key scan algorithm so in that what we do is in the key scan function now uh, this is important now in key scan what we do is uh, we know that the key has already been pressed so what we do is we take a variable and then we send fe so what it does is it makes all the all the columns one and even all the rows as one except the last row so except the uh, you know if you look at the uh, look at the uh, schematic you would observe that column c1 is made zero so what we do is now as as you could remember uh, first time we make column 1 as 0 then we make column 2 as 0 then column 3 and column 4 and if you see at this function so what it does is it does exactly the same it shifts the one one side to the right and then it adds one so what basically it does is it is shifting one towards right and it is doing this for four times for the four columns and then uh, what we do is uh, we check if it is f0 if it is f0 uh, it means no key has been pressed so if it is not f0 it means some key has been pressed and if we then read the port so again row is port 1 here so if we read the port what we get is we get the uh, you know uh, we get the exact row and column uh, which was pressed and we return that key so in the main function what we do is we uh, take this key and uh, you know even before we do that so this is key scan so uh, we get this key, scanned key in the get key function and uh, get key function what it does is uh, we have calculated all these values so depending on what the key combination is it's a just a simple switch key uh, switch case statement wherein it, if it is e7 it matches to 0 similarly if it is eb it matches to 1 so we have seen this table so it matches the key and then it returns its ascii value so if uh, in fact 0 is pressed ascii value 0 is returned to the main function so in the main function as we have seen before the get key function it will give you the ascii value and this ascii value is displayed on the lcd so the code is uploaded on the tutorial page you can download go through it and fiddle around it with it with, with it and then if you have any questions do post and share the videos thank you for watching and also watch the demo uh, of this uh, on the ultra x5 on development board thank you for watching